So let me just start off by saying, it's never easy to cut off a guy without being rude. It can always feel like a difficult situation that doesn't always end up having the most positive outcome. Today, I'm gonna give you some tips and some hacks to make this process a little less painful, maybe a lot less painful. And in the end, have a respectable outcome for both. Before you get into that, I am having one-to-one -one sessions and some of you have started book with me. So if you're ready to level up your love life, then click the link below. So to start off, be honest and direct. If you know that you're not really interested in a guy in that way, then be sure to let him know up front and as soon as possible. And the thing is, there's no need for any sugar coating either. The truth is some guys can miss subtle hints or just not read between the lines. And guys in general are pretty used to communicating quite directly anyway. No need to be rude, but be direct. And also be crystal clear that the decision is final. That this isn't something that you would reconsider or that you're even open to changing your mind about. And the reason this is such a key part is because a guy can continue to try and change your mind if he thinks you're open to changing your mind. And I know you might think, well, why would a guy in instantly think that just because I'm saying no in the moment. But it's what boys have grown up on. In superhero movies or action movies, the main guy never has anything going on. He's the most unpopular, the most uncool, the most unwanted, and the girl he wants doesn't even look at him in the slightest. Or if she does look at him, she's looking at him like, nah, you're not for me. Then he goes on this hero journey. He then proves himself by tapping into his potential, and then he gets the girl in the end. This narrative is in so many of our favorite films. Lion King, Spider-Man, Hercules, Achilles, Thor, Superman, Captain America, need I go on? So you letting him know that you're not open to it for the future is really going to serve you here. Now, keeping that in mind, be open to his feelings and you can be sympathetic towards that. This doesn't mean you have to agree with his feelings by any means, but just making an effort to show that you can understand how that's going to make him feel because if we're being honest, you've just rejected him. You know, you've just dashed his hopes of ever being with you if he started to build that picture in his head. If need be, if this guy is like a friend, or a work colleague, let them have some time to work through their emotions. And if I'm going to be honest with you, don't be expecting any positivity from them towards you for a little bit. Of course, he shouldn't go out of his way to be horrible to you, but you can understand why you may not be his favorite person for the next month or two. Next thing to help you is ensure that you are not leading him on. I know the attention is nice. I know. Having a guy at your beck and call who you know you can call on and will be there to do whatever it is you need, it's a very nice luxury to have. Like when you need help moving furniture or if you need someone to look after your dog or if you need someone to talk to about the guy that you like. It's important for you to resist this temptation of keeping him close but at arm's length. Because while it might have its benefits, it has some drawbacks. Because if he's investing in the friendship because he has hope of it becoming something more, the longer this goes on, the higher risk he ends up resenting you. Especially if he sees you going out and taking interest in other guys. But because he's your friend, he will feel that he can't really express this resentment because there's no logical or justifiable reason for him to be annoyed at you. Because you've technically not done anything wrong. But then this energy that he's holding on to will start to manifest itself in other ways when he's around you and not in nice ways. It could be that he starts speaking to you in a demeaning and rude way, or maybe he starts making fun of you, but he just says, oh, I'm just joking about. Or he just outright snaps and he just rages at you. None of this is good for you. None of this is wanted, trust. Me. I've seen this happen to a few girls more than once. The price of having these benefits of him as a friend when you know he wants something more, the price is rarely worth it. So if this guy does contact you outside of your work or whatever environment that you're in, take ages to reply and when you do respond, make it very clear that there is no hope or there's no promise. Don't give him any glimmer of hope. Now I know that sounds harsh, but you have to do this for yourself. You're actually being nice to him by not giving him anything to feed on. And the last thing to keep in mind is let him know that the door is always open for a friendship. This isn't the same as keeping him as a friend while he likes you, but also, this isn't the same as keeping him as a friend while he likes you, but saying to him that, look, you're not gonna be interested in him, but once he gets over it, he can be a friend to you. And the reason it's always good to say this, even if you don't really mean it, is because in an environment where you share a lot of mutual friends, it just prevents things from being awkward. And 
it helps soften the blow a little bit. At the end of the day, it's in your own interest to be mindful to how you come across. Always end things in a respectful manner, regardless of what the other person is saying. Because in the words of Michelle Obama, when they go low, we go high. If you're looking for a guy who sparks up your love life, make sure you subscribe to this wonderful tribe. And as always, keep it slick. Pow.